Hi, I'm Barb. I'm the director of the Wildlife Department here at the SPCA serving Erie County. And I want to talk to you about a great blue heron that came in on January 24th. This great blue heron was at a woman, actually a woman brought it, uh, brought it to us and she lived in Portland, uh, New York. Yes, she did bring it to us. Um, and unfortunately it was uh, on the side of her pond and it was in the frozen muck. It was face down, it was really down and out. A lot of times great blue herons are migratory, but sometimes they stick around here. And with this, these, this cold weather we've had, a lot of animals are struggling. And this was just one of them. It came in and it was showing signs of some um, frostbite on the one toe. And we think it may have been injured on that one toe. So it was sort of almost like an Achilles heel, so to speak, for the frostbite. And unfortunately for the bird, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, we had to amputate the one toe. Now that's not going to be a problem for this great blue heron, but because the toe was dead, we had to get rid of it. But then, once it started doing well, it started gaining weight, it started, you know, getting hardy and healthy, uh, we had to think about release. What are we going to do with this bird? Well, we decided that we were going to drive it all the way to the Hamptons. Our wildlife technician, Megan, is driving this bird all the way there to this wildlife rehab center so that they can check after this long nine to 10 hour drive, how is the bird, how did the bird do? And also to give it a couple of meals so that it's not, because it can't eat on the, on the car ride, so it's not gonna eat for a whole day. It's gonna go to this rehab center, get a couple of meals, and then they're going to release it out there on Long Island where there's lots of open water for this bird to continue its migration. We're so happy to have gotten this bird back out into the wild, into a place where it can continue on with its wonderful life. And we're grateful to the finder. We're grateful to all of you to allow us to be able to do this for our wild friends in Western New York. Thank you so much.